Sorry. Yes. Okay. So this is a case of uh, chronic arthritis external. Uh, now the dog, the treatment of this uh, very bad infected pus and pus inside the ear canals and, and smelly, painful ear is by ear irrigation. Now to do that, the dog has to be sedated first. So now to sedate the dog, so that's why I taught the intern, either you use Tony K or your, your, your finger is uh, quite strong and, and you, you, you uh, can feel the vein here. So once you feel the vein here, then the, the, the vet will inject. I did it, I use a Tony K. Where's the Tony K? You use a Tony K, but don't shave, don't shave the hair. Don't shave the hair. Best is not to shave the hair. Where's, where's the Tony K? Down there. Second drawer. Yep. Uh, so uh, we're going to try to put the Tony K around. So what, what you do around behind, uh, behind the elbow? Just, 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 just um, do tight, tightly, tightly, very tightly. And uh, normally, tightly and then tight, uh, and then you can, then you apply uh, alcohol. You wet it, you can see, uh, you can see the, the uh, then put your hand here, and, and you, can, you can feel it. You part the hair, and you can feel the vein there. Then you inject the sedation, in this case, dormitor plus ketamine, 0 0.5, 0 0.4 dormitor, and 0 0.5 ketamine IV. And uh, then uh, the dog is seated, as you can see now. And uh, it's fifty percent of the calculated dose for this twenty-four kg. Now we go to here. Now the dog is not really hundred percent down, so we will top up with the isoferrin gas, closed circuit. The red is closed circuit. You can zoom into it. Closed circuit is red. Uh, I put two percent has the maintenance dose or top up dose and uh, the flow rate about one liter per minute the oxygen flow rate okay and there's the oxygen generator where they generate oxygen from the air rather than the cylinder that is the cylinder stand by the cylinder. okay so now the, put the cone in then uh, we'll just check the blinking reflex come check the blinking reflex once the blinking reflex is gone then i will do the the uh, ear irrigation now. The thing is, you, you can see the the, the back, the, the rebreathing back. You can see the rebreathing back. And although it's closed circuit, but uh, the, the rebreathing back is is moving very well. Huh? Now, so but I don't think it's really closed. So if it's closed, the, the back will fill up. Let's see, see, change the red one to a bit. Turn a bit more, maybe it's not close. Turn some more. Focus on, on what we are doing. Don't don't go and sleep now. Uh, uh, so if, if it's really close, then the back, the doing back wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be moving because it be inflated. So turn some more. Turn the, the red one to, to, to a stage where it doesn't. Uh, uh, this one is more close. The back should be full unless it's a leak. Okay, so now we go at this check and see, and then we will start to do the ear irrigation already. At 2% maintenance dose, I will just demonstrate that a bit. Is it down? Blinking? Still okay, so you can see the ear is pretty bad. You see, this is a, since uh, five years ago. The first time I do ear irrigation was five years ago, uh, and the owner treated it with uh, occasional ear drops and so on and so forth but uh, it's got worse I can see there the ulcers, the pus and uh, we'll just take the cotton bud and show show the pus you okay, can see that uh, it's really bad you see it would be painful if it without the anesthetic even blood there. This is really bad. That's why the owner comes. Now the right ear also is similarly painful, but we, we, we are doing the left ear first. Okay. So uh, we put that two and a half percent if it's not uh, I mean two and a half. Uh, that's the maintenance dose. Okay, so this is a phone, oxygen, 
I don't know whether oxygen is full or not. Maybe put to one. Eh? Normally I use one or two. Yeah. Okay, ready. So just demonstrate the uh, the irrigation. Come, come here first. Now, the irrigation is actually just use clean water, put it there, and then just 45 degrees and uh, probably 20 ml syringe. So the, the, it just the irrigated pass out. Then the pass comes out. You can see uh, the dirt, you see the debris. A lot of debris here coming out. So I just use a tissue to, to clean up. So the best is of course to flush it up as much as you can on the debris, you see that mm. the, the dog can't get it out and the owner can't get it out because it's painful. Now it you can see it's really bad. So I'm gonna do some more. Okay, the irrigation, 45 degrees. You need the anesthetic, otherwise the dog will, will be very painful. Yeah. There is it coming up. You can see here. So at 45 degrees, is it more come out here? Yeah. And they massage the vertical canal. This one leave out a bit. This leave out a bit. Yeah. Out a bit. So we tilt out a bit. No, we open our tilt. So there's no point for the vet to go and put ear drops in and just clean the ear canal from from uh, with dust sedation, uh, with dust sedation, and uh, hopefully that to, to clear the debris with cotton wool and forceps. It doesn't work that way. Okay, so it's really quite a bit of force, uh, not just slow and you, know, you can see. More debris coming up there, mm. more debris. Okay. So forty five degrees. This is the air channel. Such. The dog the dog doesn't feel the pain because of the gas and the taken. And uh, this is really a bad case. Normally, I just I just do ten times. Uh. Okay, so and then and uh, get rid of the pass first, uh, and the, and all the debris. You see, you can see mm. the the cloudy cloudiness. Uh, the pass. Uh, okay. This by zoom. Can you need to put the camera nearby? That's how I use a zoom. That's the purpose of the zoom in. Okay, so I do 20 times. There is 60 on. Now I reduce to, to 1% because the dog is no more, it's, it's, it's much more anesthetized when it comes. And uh, you can see it's really inflamed, uh, very badly inflamed. Okay, so further up a bit. Further up. I don't want the water to, to go to the camera. Okay. Okay. The horizontal canal is the one causing the, the trouble, but uh, so we try to try to uh, strange out the dirt. And It becomes clearer, clearer, and then I just check with the bottom part. Of it. So it should be much. It should be much. Uh, there should be no pass coming out. Be much cleaner, you see. Mm. Much cleaner, but 
so that the owner can continue with his ear drop for this two blood because of ulceration. Mm -hmm. But definitely it's much cleaner as compared to, do I do another five more? Then I'll go to the next ear. And uh, as you can see, there's no point using uh, some commercial ear, ear drops and all this. Some best will do that, but for me I prefer clean water. Clean water and uh, so that there won't be any chemicals going inside the ear, affecting the ulcers. You see, the ulcers are there. There's some more debris. Uh. No, you cannot do 100%. So, so after three weeks of medication and treatment will be will be to do the cutting here, cut out the the wall here, mm -hmm. cut the rectangular piece here, this is called the lateral ear canal resection, throw away this wall, this, this cartilage, and the whole uh, vertical canal will be opened up because you cut this rectangular piece of cartilage off. Okay, I'm going to finish this and then I go to the other ear. Of course, you're going to do the big rest of uh, uh, rubbing, hoping to dislodge the, the debris in the horizontal canal. Okay, finish. So now I'm going to turn over the other side. Wait, stop, really. Can I stop?